Their government has limped on in office for just over a year, but holding together a coalition of eight separate parties has ultimately proved impossible. In recent weeks, we have done everything that could be done to preserve this government, which, in our eyes, its continued existence is in the national interest. Believe me, we have turned every stone upside down, not for our sake, but for the sake of our beautiful country, for you, citizens of the State of Israel. If the bill to dissolve parliament is passed, Yair Lapid will take over from Bennett as prime minister until new elections are held. I would like to thank my partner, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, for the responsibility he shows today, the fact that he puts the country ahead of his personal interests. Waiting in the wings, the politician who's dominated Israeli politics for a generation. Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel's longest-serving prime minister, was ousted last year. Now he's eagerly anticipating a comeback. This is an evening of great news for the crowds of citizens in Israel. After a determined struggle of the opposition in the Knesset and great suffering of the public in Israel, it is clear to everyone that the most failing government in the history of the country has ended its way. Israelis could be forgiven for being weary of the constant summons to the voting stations. Opinions are divided on the need for yet another election. Uh, really, really very sad for me. I think that in Israel we don't need elections. We have to be together like brothers. It's been way too long in coming, that's what I think. We've been waiting for this for a very long 12 months. But another general election now seems inevitable. And October the 25th has been earmarked. John Brain, TRT World.